Hey guys, what's up? We're going to pick up a pizza, bringing you along for the ride. We're running full self-driving beta. Actually just got a up software update about an hour ago. Uh, I think I'm gonna put some of the details about the software update um, down in the description. Uh, I'm gonna try over the next week or so to test out some of the things that looked like a pretty significant software update. Um, looked like we just stopped there for no reason. <clears throat> no stop sign there. But I did not take over. I'm anticipating this is going to be a pretty smooth ride. You know, I've been pushing, so I've been pushing FSD to the edge. It's kind of the goal of the channel. Uh, but I do know that if I plug in certain destinations that that I can have a pretty smooth ride with no takeovers. Um, I anticipate this drive to uh, to be the same, uh, to be a pretty smooth ride without takeovers, but we'll see. So yeah, we're gonna keep testing beta. Um, obviously version 12 is gonna change everything, but until we get that, we're gonna keep testing. All right, we need to be over on the right. I was, I was just gonna take over there because we were approaching a hill that I couldn't see over and a car was coming and just as a car came up over that hill then we did move to the right but I wouldn't have felt comfortable going over the top of that hill as far left as we were actually one of the updates as we are getting a herky-jerky stop there one of the updates had to do with being on narrow unmarked roads which is kind of like what that was so that that's an interesting road I might have to go back and do some more testing a little herky-jerky there, but we got out onto the road. This will be an interesting test here, guys. We've got pedestrians. I wish there wasn't a car ahead of me. I really would have liked to have seen how early it, it picked up those pedestrians. Um, another interesting test, I see a police car with his lights on up ahead. Ah, it looks like he's just shut off his lights. Too bad. Would have been interesting to see if we would have pulled over and stopped. You can see this police car up on the left. Had his lights on about 10 seconds ago. Um, now he's pulling away. That would have been an interesting test. Had a great short that I released earlier this morning where FSD performed perfectly for an ambulance. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to check that out, you should go check it out. Yeah, I was really impressed with how, how early it picked up the emergency lights and reacted perfectly. All right, so we have a red light at this railroad crossing that has given it trouble in the past. Usually it stops before the railroad track like it has right now. I'm going to take over here because this is a situation where... I can creep up here on the right and get going right on red as it's honking at me, uh, giving me an alert because I think it thinks I ran a red light. But yeah, that's uh, one takeover there. I'm not going to bother the people behind me by waiting because I think it would have just stopped until the, the light turned green. All right, so not a zero takeover ride, but we'll continue on. I think another one of the software changes that was announced in this update was uh, about lane changes close to exits or turnoffs. Um, and that was something I noticed, um, making sure it gets over to the right lane before, well in advance of when you need to exit or not changing to go into the fast lane only half a mile out on the highway from when you're gonna have to get right back over. So be interesting to test some of that and see, uh, see if there's any improvements there. I also released a short yesterday about the UAW strikes. I think if you haven't heard now, you're living under a rock. Uh, big news with the big three Detroit automakers. Uh, I guess they're calling it a standing strike. So the workers have shut down, I think, three three facilities some of the other ones they're keeping workers going i guess the if you don't know the 
union workers are demanding higher wages, higher benefits, and the car makers, the big three, were pushing back. And this morning at midnight, or last night at midnight, was the deadline, and uh, they didn't reach an agreement. So now they're on a strike. Tesla wins, guys, Tesla wins. Um, if this slows down the production of electric vehicles by these big three at all, as we're changing lanes here, nice smooth lane change. Yeah, I mean, if this puts those big three back on their schedule at all, dealing with electric production, um, I mean, Tesla's already leading the market in margins and it's only gonna make their margins sweeter. The, uh, the big three just can't afford this kind of a thing right now. Uh, I think this is a lot bigger than people realize. I, I think electric vehicles are the future. I think the, the writing's on the wall. Not only is the technology there, uh, but I think the government at this point is pushing it. They're pumping tons and tons of money into the infrastructure, handing out money to uh, to get charging stations set up and incentives for people to purchase electric vehicles. So not only is the technology there, but the government's pushing it now. And so I think, I think it's inevitable. Um, and it's really true. I mean, I'm obsessed with this full self-driving uh, path that we're on. And it, it really is true that a lot of times I don't even feel like that the most exciting thing about driving a Tesla even has anything to do with the fact that it's an electric car anymore. Um, it's the FSD. It's the version 12 neural nets that we're headed toward. That's the most exciting thing. The electric aspect of the car is it's almost like old news at this point. Um, if you haven't driven one, it's a better driving experience. The torque, the instant power, the quiet, no vibration, totally quiet as we sit here at the stoplight. The driving experience is just better. Uh, it's a better engineered way to drive a car. So I think that's where we're going. The car companies know it. The, the demand is there now. The infrastructure is there largely thanks to Tesla and the supercharger network. Um, and the government's on board. So that's where we're headed. I think if I had to estimate in 10 years a majority of, within 10 years a majority of the new vehicles sold will be electric it'll probably be 15 to 20 years before we replace uh, you know get to a point where 70 percent of the vehicles on the road are electric it might be 20 years because the people that are buying their new ice cars right now they're going to drive them for a decade um, so they'll still be on the road it's going to take a while but i think we are if we have not already passed it, we're, we're rapidly approaching the, uh, the tipping point. I don't know why we're going left here, but okay. I wouldn't normally go left here, but let's trust the maps, trust the autopilot. That was an interesting aspect. If you guys watched my video on where we're going with version 12 full neural networks, I watched a, a talk by uh, an engineer for Tesla that was explaining one of the most difficult challenges that you have to overcome with the version 12 neural networks. And that challenge was, it was interesting because it was how do you have a, a neural network operate while also uh, telling, uh, w also with a guided path? In other words, you know, I've put in a destination here, so I want the car to go a certain path, which that is necessarily has to have some heuristics to it. If I get to Hawkins Drive, I'm going to turn left. So I'm telling the vehicle 
where to go on a path while at the same time, and we're not on it yet, we're on beta, but once we're on version 12, uh, it's gonna just be pixels in, reaction out by the car. And so that's an interesting problem that I'm not sure I fully understood the explanation for. I'm gonna have to watch that video again of how they, how they merge those two systems. The navigation system with a defined path that you're telling the vehicle to go to. I think they call it the ego to go to. And then combining that with a reactionary neural network architecture that software architecture that is simply taking pixels in via camera and then making a making an out, output decision based on the neural network as to what is is the best maneuver you know yeah and and maybe the answer has something to do with they've they've curated the clips so that the best drivers are going to stick to the road in other words uh, you know, it's not going to cut across the park grass because it's quicker to get to your destination because they don't, the neural network has not been trained on any clips that a good driver would do that. Uh, so yeah, that was a really interesting, really interesting YouTube, YouTube talk, which I've been watching a lot on. I think we're rapidly approaching this, uh, neural network change, which I think will probably be another six months, as Elon says, before somebody like me driving a Model Y Hardware 4 gets access to, um, but we're rapidly approaching it. I think with Dojo, it's inevitable at this point. And the visual data that, that we're providing to Tesla right now with this drive, it's going to get fed into one of those to the, to the supercomputer dojo or the NVIDIA boards that they're using now, or they're going to take this and it's going to be part of the millions of miles of, of visual data that, that Tesla is going to use to build that neural network. And that's awesome that we're a part of that. I love it. Um, I made a video complaining about the price of FSD and it's true. A part of me doesn't like how expensive it is, but you justify it a little bit by saying that you're part of you're part of making history and, and forging this new technology. And if you have the means to be able to participate in this endeavor, it's a it's cool to say that you were a part of it. Um, and not certainly not everybody has the means to participate, and uh, that's okay. But if you do and you're able to, then um, it's a pretty cool thing to be a part of. So we're going 25 miles an hour here, which is the speed limit. Uh, a human would probably go a little faster once we're on hardware tw or once we're on uh, version 12 neural networks. I think the idea is going to be that humans are going or that the neural network is going to at times mimic humans, which a human might go 27, 28, and 25. Uh, let's see what it does here. I think it's going to stop behind this bus which is not what a human would do, but we're gonna just let it do its thing. Uh, you can see all the cars passing me on the left. This is boring, not what a human would do. We're still stopped behind the bus as all the humans drive around the left of this bus. But that's, you can't argue that that's not safe it's just not the most efficient route to take. Um, so yeah, um, with the neural networks, it's gonna mimic human driving, which at times breaks the law. And I was mentioning in the other video that that's gonna be the challenge that is faced is, can you get that approved by regulators? A program that is by design, if operating optimally, breaking the law. That's where we're at. I think it'll be interesting to follow whether it gets approved in the upcoming months. I think the first one that would be released would be Hardware 3, Full Neural Network Hardware 3, version 12. And if that, in fact, 
gets released, it would first have to be approved. So that'll be, I think, what would first have to happen. So that's that's the news, the headlines that I'm going to be looking for. Um, actually, this is a good route now that I think about it to go get pizza. Tight roads here. Buses on the right. We are going to be going left, so we are in the right lane. We are in the correct lane. And yeah, thanks for coming along for the ride. Uh, what did we only have? One takeover at the railroad tracks at the beginning? Otherwise, a pretty good ride. The bus stop was not efficient, but certainly not unsafe. And yeah, I mean, ultimately the goal would be that I could sit in the back seat and play on my phone or do some work or read a book and look up when I've arrived at my destination. And yeah, I think we're gonna get there. And I think Tesla's gonna be the one to lead the way. Uh, I, I would like, and I'm hopefully gonna do a video one of these days, I'd like to ride in a Waymo fixed route and see what that experience is like. Obviously, totally different technology than what we're running here. Um, and I don't think that that's ultimately the the future. Although there may be some, oh, not the greatest. Almost pulled out into oncoming traffic. Now we're gonna go, all right. I kind of let it do its thing there, even though we were, that was not the safest. Um, we did kind of pull out like we were gonna um, go on a collision course with that oncoming traffic, but corrected itself. This There's no stop signs on the right or left here, so we are gonna creep out into this intersection until we get a visual and then proceed through and the pizza's on the left. All right, we've arrived at our destination. Pretty good drive, thanks for coming along. As it tells me to take control immediately. All right guys, thanks for subscribing. Cue the outro music. We'll